Hello there. Right, just waiting for a few of you to pop on and for me to get a feed as usual. How are we all? Ah, no, have they got it? Oh, uh, that's strange. Show my picture. Right, I've got a feed, lovely. Is anybody there to come and join me? Can't see anybody at the moment. If not, I am just going to crack on. Right. So, yeah, sorry about last week. I had a splitting headache. Did not feel well at all. So I'm back now with what I was going to do last Tuesday. It's the Tag Buffet Alternatives. Um, yeah, we did part one two weeks ago. So, But I've come up with some more ideas as well because it's just a fabulous kit. It really is. It is really the box that keeps on giving because there's still... I've made all what I did last time, all what I've done tonight, and I've still, oh, there's my notes, and I've still got loads left, absolutely loads left, I really have, so I can make, I'm going to make some more tags, just some tags, hey Sandra, how are you, um, yeah, just a quick note, I didn't realise this, they've actually, because obviously we're not in America, and, oh, I haven't got the cardinal, hold on, and, but they provide, because it, the red cardinal is a very uh, bird, American bird, or Canadian bird, and obviously we don't have those. So what Stampin' Up! have kindly done, let me show you just so I'm just trying to get one. So what Stampin' Up! have done, if you don't want to put the Red Cardinal on your gift tags, they've actually provided double the amount of Christmas trees. So double the amount of trees, which I thought was fabulous. So yeah, if you don't want to use the bird, you don't have to because they've given you enough trees instead. So that's pretty good going. Thank you Stampin' Up! They, they do really think of everything. They really do. So yeah, I thought that was good good concept. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. And because I haven't crafted in quite a while, I'm going to eat myself in slowly uh, just to get myself warmed up and by making a card before I start making a little gift, tech, gift box and stuff. But yeah, because I've been doing my craft room and sorting out, I'm a little bit rusty with the crafting, so I thought I'd start nice and slowly. Myself warmed up. Uh, here we go. So yeah, this is using the um obviously the tag die that they provide in the kit. But if you look in the stamp set, there is a stocking stamp. Now obviously it's a little bit smaller, or quite a bit smaller than that. Obviously you can see the difference. But so you could create if you had the stamp set as well, you could create the same design, but just do a stocking. But obviously you could do a row of stockings as well. In the kit you've got, oh, sorry, stamp set. You've got the stocking and the bauble. So, and the holly so it's yeah you can you know once you've run out of all the die cuts if you've got the stamp set you can still keep making some so very quick and simple really all right so what i'm going to do because we've got to do some branches i'm going to guess where the middle is roughly and i'm going to just draw some pencil lines you don't have to do this but it does help because if you look I just want to come up and there's a red back, red border so you're not going to see the pencil line and then I can rub it out if I wanted to. So I just want to show where to where, where I'm going to put my branches basically. I'm going to use shaded spruce which is the colour green in the cardstock. So it all matches and coordinates. What we're looking for? Branch. There's, they give you a couple of branches in there. Actually I don't know if that's, yeah that's the bigger one. So it's Hi Nancy, how are you? So just uh, just gonna eat myself in gently with a card tonight because I haven't crafted in quite a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> so I feel it's in my comfort zone doing cards, where it's a little bit more out of my comfort doing boxes. So yeah. Hey Wanda, how are you? No biking tonight then, obviously. Too dark. It's very dark outside already. What is it? Just a seven and yeah. Um no, I'm coming up there. This is my trouble. I don't know when to stop now when I do things like this. But yeah, just saying Wanda, I haven't crafted in such a long while. I'm a bit rusty. So I'm starting off with a nice simple card. Because I've just been so busy doing my room. Which is getting there. It really is. I'm getting very excited. To the end now. Don't know, should have done some stamp up in there. Good 
finished the painting today. Oh, did you? Well done. Yeah, I've got more paint, a little bit more painting to do. I'll paint the furniture more than anything. Which I'm going to do tomorrow, hopefully. The furniture's coming on Friday, so... And then I can get really sorted out. Oh, I know what I didn't get. Oh, and I think it's... A, oh, no, here it is. My cleaner. It's just about damp enough. That will do. Right, we'll put the lid on that. Oh no, I need to do the sentiment. Let's do that while we've got it out. So, as I say, nice simple card with a die cut. Or you could, if you've got the stamp set, just um, you could use the stocking in the stamp set, which is is smaller than that one, obviously. But that's remembered my mat tonight as well. Well, it's here in my craft room. So, oh, that's. I think I might need a bigger block. Oh, I'll just put it on the diagonal. So yeah, using shader spruce. I would I, I know I keep saying it, but yeah, this box, this kit is fabulous. It really does stretch a long way if you got if you put it with a few other little bits and bobs. Not just your gift tags, although it's fabulous for that. I'm gonna say hello, Neil, but you never say hello back. I'm pretty sure it just comes in pe on people's wall I don't I don't think they actually ever watch me some of these people so if you're bothered by that line you can rub it out but as I say we're going to be covering it anyway but there we go I'll get that stuck on there I still haven't got any stamping seal I ran out and haven't replaced it I'll use glue speed you could use tape or whatever you've got oh this I don't know if I mentioned this is pool party this cardstock and this one is shaded spruce and all the details will be on my blog when I eventually get it written up it's usually the usual 143 millimeters by 100 100 that I 143 and then this one I've cut 10 millimeters off it so 133 by 90 just to make it a little bit different. I'm assuming everybody can hear me, otherwise you'd have let me know by now. I'm sure you would have done. And let's stick that. Oh, there's a fluffy thing. So, um, yeah, th this does make very quick cards if you use the die cuts. Somebody's messaged me. I'm not meant to hear that, but I think that's because it comes through on my laptop and I can't bring me that. Turn the sound off. Right. So I that on there. Now once you've cut your layers out, it's a very quick card to do. How are we all? Are we all doing a little bit more crafting? It's not on quite level. It is the, it is, tis the season to be crafting, I think. Now that the cold and dark nights are drawing in. I don't know about you, but well, I may watch a little bit of television during the autumn and winter. But generally while I'm crafting, I can't just sit and watch TV unless it's a film where I have to concentrate. Layering that onto Whisper White thick cardstock. Very quick and simple card. Slightly wonky. Never mind. Right. I should use my dimensionals. If anybody saw my tips video this morning, you'll see this is what the lines that that explain what the lines are for. It's basically I saw somebody who did this, and I thought it was quite clever. Because sometimes you can't see them very well, but it just shows you, you know, you can just see how many foam pads you've got there, the dimensionals. And when you place them on here, you can see them better. I just thought that was a, quite a good tip. And if you use your stamp and blends because they're alcohol-based, they obviously will dry and it won't rub off. I think I'll 
probably need some little ones for one there. Switch to those. You're loving it. Is it what you're loving your stamp and good Nancy? Yeah, it's it's just something to do in the, the yeah, the long winter nights. I must admit, I mean, although I don't look forward to winter per se, I don't dread it like some people do because I say my my hobbies keep me keep me entertained, so to speak. So I quite relish the idea sometimes of just staying in and in the warm and doing my crafts, whatever that may be. I'm hoping to get back to my cross stitch because probably you probably all saw my unfinished items. I really need to get some of them finished. But as I say, I love, I do love cross stitch, but it, it's time consuming. Whereas with this paper craft, you get instant results or results very quickly. So that's the reason why I love doing this. But it each has, you know, each has its benefits really. I'm gonna pop the sentiment on. And we'll just glue that across the stock in front. My usual method that I like doing. It's got dimensionals both ends, so that gives it a little bit of support as well. And I did buy, uh, put some little red crystals. And what have I done with those? Mm. <laughs> I got them out specifically, and I've put them somewhere. They are here somewhere. <laughs> I can't see them. No, right. Oh, yeah, I've got them. They're in my other tray that I've tidied away. Right, so here we go. And what I did this morning, I don't know if anybody did see my tits video, these lovely, I don't know what they're called, I didn't check again, but they're, they're in the holiday catalogue, the little mini catalogue, and they, I think they're with the Ponsettia suite, but don't quote me on it, I'm pretty sure they are. But I think they're more like uh, berries, holly berries. So I, with the stamp and blend, coloured them in. I did use Poppy Parade when really I should have used real red or maybe cherry cobbler, but I could have gone over that, but I didn't. So yeah, I'm going to, because I thought it was absolutely perfect on here. Oh, I've got things stuck into me. Look, how perfect is that? That's just a little bit bigger than those berries there, but that just looks just adds something to it uh, I think because they're quite heavy they're made of metal obviously I use a glue dot and hold it on there nicely then might even need more than one but I'll go with one but no I think they look fabulous as berries So you can see the difference between putting it on and not putting it on, how much it adds to it. And of course, just little red bits as well. Yeah, I do, Rhonda. They're, they are brilliant. I think as I, said, I don't have the Ponsetti suite. I'm not a huge Ponsetti lover. I'm not that much of a traditionalist, if I'm honest. I have had Ponsettis in the past. past. But um, yeah, I'm not too much of a traditionalist anymore. So I won't be buying it. But I, yeah, I will be using those berries up with my holly, I think. Because I did buy them. I don't know which sweet these are from. Oh, Wonderful Gems. Oh, they might be with the, oh, they might be with the stamp set that I've just ordered yesterday, actually. I'm not sure about that either. But they're in their holiday catalogue, I'm pretty sure of that. So. Voila, and that is it. That's your card done in less than 15 minutes, really, with a little added extra embellishment. So that's number one done. And what shall we do next? I've got this, the box. I think we'll do this. This was my design. I did actually make this up on my own because I'm a big girl. I can do that sometimes. It does take a little bit of time for me to work it out, but basically it's... um. It's two gift tags. It does so it's a bit meaty on your on your kit. So you obviously that's one one gift tag folded down and there and then another one, and then we just created the sides. And it does. I was quite surprised at how it holds six lin lin chocolates. So look, three in there, 
and six at a push if you've got five or six at a push depending on how you place them quite a small package I thought that was quite good so let's crack on and make it and what I did for the decoration I don't know if you remember but there's this is just half of one of the die cuts so I've just cut it in half and put that on the front so you yeah so you can you could get two of that out of your die cut rather than wasting a whole one I do wonder I haven't touched them would you believe I have been very 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 restrained because they are delicious how good am I I won't say I'm good because I've bought other chocolate but I haven't touched those ones I know how good am I that's worth something isn't it <laughs> yeah I, that's why I have to tie them up put a, put a bow on it I think no I mustn't touch it I'm I've still got the other video to make of the other chocolate box so and I need them rather than keep buying new ones so there, that's why I haven't touched them. I keep thinking, no, I need them for a video. So, right, um, I will give all these directions tomorrow on the blog or whenever I do it. I think it's four by two, four inches by two inches. I can't remember where I scored it and I can't see my directions at the moment. So anyway, I will put it all on my blog. It's fairly easy though. So you score down there and then I think it's a quarter of an inch on both sides. And then basically, Yeah, those those Lynn chocolates, they are well not that I've tried one for a while, but they oh they were lovely. But yes, been quite good. I'm trying. Although I st I'm still not succeeding with my chocolate fix. Right, that one. cut these out so like that these were scored at from the bottom at one and a half so basically all right now which way did I do this I think it's easier to do it this way that's that way it's got to work out No, I think I'll stick them on. Right. Yeah, it's kind of up to you which way you do this. So, into the fold line. You could do a box for the whole thing, but I just didn't think that was necessary because this is, yeah, this is quite sturdy as it is now. Now it's two two thicknesses. So I just thought I'd create some little edges. So yeah, I think glue's the easiest to do this with. Just that bit closer. So because uh, it was a while ago I made this, I'm yeah trying to refresh my memory. I've got to remember to keep it in camera. Yep. I'll do it like this way. So here I've got a little bit of an overlap, which doesn't matter. And we'll glue. Never know if it's better to do one side first. I think it generally is. This is it's it's a kind of one of those things where that what suits you. You might want to do both the bottom bits first if you make it, or do it this way and get all the sides one side done. I'll do it so I can see it. Yeah, there's no right or wrong. It's just personal choice. Right, 
Oh, let's come off of what you find easiest. You've obviously got to give that Tombow a little bit of a dry and tan. You just want to try and get your edges lined up as best as possible. That's come up a little bit higher than the other one. Don't know why. I perhaps might cut that off if I can. Uh, mm -mm. Hasn't lighted that very well there. So, yeah, I've got a feeling this is going to be tricky doing it this way. that inside that way. No, it's not going to work. We'll do it that way then. But I'm not making this look easy. Hmm. I think it would have been easier to do the bottoms first. If you had a bit more time, maybe double-sided tape, although then you've got to be careful with your placement, but or even your red tape, but then you have got to be really careful with your placement. It's just this glue just takes a little bit of time, just, just a minute or two, just to hold, which I'm not being patient enough with. And I haven't glued in there either. haven't glued in there so I'm just going to be naughty and run a bit of glue in there that's it better for it to ooze out and then you can just wipe off the excess because it will dry clear so yeah just a little bit of patience is required for the drying time and again I haven't put down there Yeah, I'll just waste that. I just don't like wasting it. But... Oh, hi, Judy. Oh, you did a quick tip, quick meal or tea. You must have got her something. Bless her. Megan, that is. Is it Megan? I think it's Megan, isn't it? Your daughter. Good. Yeah, I haven't had mine yet. I must admit, nor Simon, because he's doing rowing and he was rowing. I believe it's he's probably spent on the spin bike now because I can't hear the rowing machine. And Steph's had her tea, so just got to do mine and Simon's. Uh, this is a second project. I did a card, quick card, this one. So yeah, it's not difficult to make, but you might want to just yeah catch that on the replay. But other than that, this is the second one. Yeah, you haven't missed a lot. And that's it. No worries, Sharon. Glad you could join us. So that's it. That's your little box. And that fits your little chocolates in. But obviously, you could, uh, I reckon Ferrero Rocher. I think Ferrero Rocher may be a bit bigger, aren't they? So maybe four of those would fit in. I don't like them though, so I'm safe with those ones. Uh, don't like that sticking up, so yeah, I'm just going to probably cut them out. I don't know why that's yeah, that looks a little bit odd there. My measurements are slightly different from the first time I made it, but hey ho. Yeah, maybe I won't worry about it. Yes. Yeah, 
want to for that to turn around. Probably would have been best to leave it. That it's not that noticeable. And now I can't cut it very well. Ugh. Looks a little bit odd cut out like that, so maybe just leave it. Well, it's probably just my measurements out a little bit for some reason on my uh, scoring. Right, so that's that done. And now it's just decoration, which is very super quick and simple. Just going to go round the... Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, it's, uh, it was one of my own designs. I don't, yeah, well, sometimes I do come up with my own little boxes. So it does take a little bit of extra time rather than copying off other people. But it's more satisfying. And sometimes if you have... I don't know if you buy something, you just can't find a box for it to fit, and sometimes you have to do your own. There's no other way around it, really. But that's nice because then you can pass that on to other people, that knowledge. It's really quite heavy, actually, when you move that. Um, that won't fit. I'm using real red. Didn't put the mat underneath it. And I will just go around in the green just to make that pop a little bit. But yeah, a lot of boxes you get just either fit two or four in, but the fact that this one can do six is quite nice. Probably be a surprise for the recipient actually because they'll just think, oh, that's only a little box. But when you get six chockies or six Lynn chocolates, chocolates in them, you know, that's quite a significant amount for a nice little gift. Oh, so sticky fingers. I'm going to have to give my hands a wipe. That's the trouble of working with glue. Right, there's that, and I think that just gets stuck down with glue, yeah. You can definitely see they was on camera better, can't you, the backs of the dimensionals. Obviously I haven't got the chocolates in here, so it's going to be empty. <laughs> I could just fill them in with it. Uh, I think I do need some dimensionals at the bottom, just some mini ones. So yeah, no, they're really quite quick make actually once I've cut your once you've cut your cardstock. I'm all for making Christmas or gift boxes, especially at Christmas time, quick, quick and easy because you have too much to do. You don't really want to be faddling with you know really difficult ones. You could run up some of these. These would actually be nice as maybe um on the table at Christmas time. If you want to put people's names, if you've got a stamp set, there are, we do a stamp set. Can't remember. Wonder, can you remember what it's called? I can't. Um, anyway, you can do alphabet. You could put people's names on there and have a little table gift. Table gift stroke with their name on. That would be a nice touch. That's if we go ahead and have any um people for Christmas. We don't know about that yet, do we? So maybe we won't discuss that. But maybe, you know, it's just, you just got to think of these things just in case. But that's it, really. And then you just tie it with your ribbon. I don't know, oh yeah, you can bulge that out a little bit or fold it inwards. If you fold it inwards, you probably get less chocolates in it. And you might want to crease down there if you want to do that. But yeah, I just tied it together with the chocolates in. But I don't think I need to show you how to do a bow or a ribbon. Do not, oh, I'll just do it quickly. 
I'm getting dimensional. That's everywhere. I stick and make right. It's just quickly. I can't remember how I did this. I think I threaded it through. Threaded it through, looped it. Yeah. And then just you don't pull too tight. You can keep it like that, and then just tie your bow. So you would put your chocolates in it first. Like that. And you do a lot of adjusting, which I won't do now because I take forever. And then cut your cut your ribbon tails off. But you get the idea. I think it's better when the chocolates are in it, it fills it out better. Thank you ladies but yeah maybe it definitely needs something in there it holds its shape better mm. it is a bit of a squeeze to get those six in I, I won't lie but definitely five so yeah that's better now that holds its shape better now i tell you what i do do and i think i did it on these you find these are really long this one hasn't been done i just so if i'm in bit of a thing with packaging I just cut, I just trim them down and that just makes a little bit of difference yeah, if you can see that yeah, just yeah, so they're not quite so bulky and they're not, not doing any harm it just makes them fit a little bit better so there you go oh actually I forgot those uh, yeah the bag box might take a little longer but I'll just do this now I have to eat one. Yeah, I better not. Wanda will tell me off, Nancy. She will. She's very good at um, watching me. Well, no, she doesn't watch me. But she knows I have a little bit of a fixation with chocolate. She tries to keep me on the straight and narrow, don't you, Wanda? I really... Oh, that's not even... But yeah, I really need to. I need to kick the habit. I am trying, but not, not hard enough, I'm afraid. Yeah, they're not even, but there we go. Hi, Annie, how are you? I've actually got um, a Tropic gift bag coming up in a moment, if you can manage to hold on. That might not be to the end, though. Uh, right, so that's that done. Maybe I'll do that next, actually, while Annie's here. Here we go. So we'll do this one next, and then the little one's... So we've got a gift bag, bag box, whatever you want to say. So, and in here, I'm, I did try, now Annie will know, that Tropic do this marvellous gift bag with four shower gels in, which I love them. They're ideal for gift giving. Either It's £14 for the four shower gels from Tropic. You get four of these lovely different smells. I did try and squeeze the bag in here, and it was just a tad too tight, so I've just taken two out and put two in. What I will be doing, I hope to come up with a, a bag that I can fit this in because, yeah, that I like to buy them as Christmas presents. Because, yeah, for £14 for a nice, you know, little present for somebody, and they, they go down really well. I bought my daughters both one last year, and in turn, my daughter became a Tropic consultant because of that. It's because, yeah, she just loves the products, and so do I. So, yeah, inside, two little shirts. A little bit of what you fancy now. Yes, Wanda. So yeah, two of the lovely Tropic shower gels fit in there perfectly. With a little bit of padding over the top. A little bit of snipe. But yeah, I am aiming to make a slightly bigger one so I can fit in the actual gift bag. So that will be coming up, I hope, at some stage. But as for now, we will crack on and make this one. I'll just put that somewhere. I have prepped a little bit in advance to save a little bit of time. So maybe Annie's not actually there. She usually, perhaps it was just a fleeting visit. Excuse me, I've got to have a drink. I don't know why I'm very thirsty today. I think it's from yoga last night. I just need to keep the fluids up. I don't want to get a headache again, basically. I've been drinking a lot all day, though. 
Right, so we've got our cardstock, which I believe measures, um, I think it's 11 inches by 8 and a quarter. Yes, 11 inches that way, 8 and a quarter, which is the width of our A4 cardstock. So it's almost a full A4 size cardstock. And uh, score, and yeah, I won't go into all the scoring, but I've scored it as usual on the long side and short side, and I will put that all on my blog tomorrow. And this is the this is your top. This is going to be the top, and this is the base. And so I've stuck the DSP on ready as well. But what I do actually have to get ready is the gift tag because that has to go on before. Yes, it does. So I will do the gift tag first, actually. So that's stuck on. So the, yeah, this is following. I think this is reason. Yeah, pretty much like they tell you how to make one of the tags. I can't remember the name because I made it ages ago. But we'll stick that on there, lining up the hole. You can see it's got little die cut stars out so you can see through. Now, because we're not using that hole, the holes are being placed either side. I didn't like, I didn't want that there. So what I did, um, I had some scrap scrap DSP so I just going to put that on the top I basically uh, measured it and then scored it halfway plenty of glue stick that on the top I'm going to have to glue it down a little bit more and then just cut that's alright but yeah make sure there's plenty of glue on so it sticks but uh, there's that and then it's just a case of putting the present on, doing the sentiment, which is Merry Christmas. In, I think I'll change the colour actually. I'll do it in real red. Got it here, so I might as well use it. I, don't, I think I said it before, but I love the font in this set, in this stamp set. Hey Susan, how are you? Uh, shall we ink around it? Mm, yeah, maybe in green. It's garden green for this one. It's not, really need to that back in the ink pad it's not got much on it but that'll do right so more dimensionals big ones this time I think for the present see why I had to get the gift tag done because that has to go on before we construct the box. I did actually make one before with a shaker tag so it's the same one I made back on, on my um, launch day. So I think the shaker tag took quite a while to make so this is an easier and quicker version. You wouldn't have to do this big tag if you didn't want to you could just do the box. I just think it worked really well with this tag tag set. I could have sponged around the presents as well, but I didn't. Yeah, again, we'll keep the glue that. Dimensionals either side. Okay. 
that's it and that's the tag nearly done just got to do the holes now this isn't stamping up this is a cropo dial by we are memory keepers we used to do a, our own one but we don't do them anymore i think i'm going to use so that's the middle i'm going to gauge about there well i should have probably used the smaller one but never mind there you go two holes makes easy work of that and then we are ready to so which way is that going to go yeah that's I haven't got enough of the ribbon because I need it for another project so I've had to use the thinner ribbon that I've got here uh, I think I'll do that as well yeah I've got to work out as I go I think I'll work that out in a minute so here we go I'll do some cutting first now bottom I don't think we mitre we may have to but I'm not going to mitre it yet seen me do all this before just score and then just burnish Cut the rectangle out this we can mitre same again there that gets cut out and these we can mitre Camera seems to be closer tonight. That's different setup to how I have it upstairs. I think that's why. That seems to be. Right, that's good. Right, now we've got to work out how to do the holes again. This is I love this because the holes as they are enclosed or the ribbon gets enclosed. So I'm just trying to work out. You can measure, I think I better actually. I'm going to go can't see very well, three quarters of an inch in I think. I'm actually not marking there, but I'm or cutting there, punching there, but uh, three quarters of an inch. That's right, isn't it? I'm actually coming down a little bit and punching on the line, and I'm going to use the small one. Probably looks a bit odd, but that'd be alright when. You could use the bigger one and you wouldn't get that slightly off. And that's it. There we go. So now we put some tape. the ribbon uh, might as well just put it right across oh that's not going to reach do the longer one Just need to elongate that a little bit. Right. A little bit more on this side. 
you don't want it, the handles coming out. Don't know, I just loved how it encloses the handles. We don't have to worry about tying knots or anything. It's just quite neat, I thought. But I have just got to work out. I'll do this one first. That's going to be, yeah, that's going to be the front. So, we'll just, so if we just work it, that's going to be the front. So, pretend that's the front. So, we're going, yeah, through that way. You can tell I get easily confused. That's why I'm making sure I do it. Yeah, so if we do it that way. And then, yeah, these are a little bit thin, this ribbon, I have to say, but there's no need to order some more. Work out if that's gonna. Oh, I've missed the hole. A little bit fiddly. Ah, uh, it's not. Ah, hold on. Mm, mm, mm. Is that right? I hope it's right. Soon find out. Just gonna press that on there and that one on there. I'm not convinced it is right, is it? Yeah, it is. Doubting myself. So there we go. So that's what it would look like when it's... So yeah, make sure you do that. It's probably the hardest part of the box. So I've done that. This one's not so bad. I have to fuddle that, so I'll put that... Gonna... Oh, my... Favourite scissors are upstairs that I cut my ribbon with. I'm not going to put that down because I need to stick some more tape on. have a thought I think I meant to do this first although I think it'll be okay press that down obviously I've had sharper scissors which these ones aren't my fabric scissors well they're not cutting but they're my paper scissors so I would cut that off so we didn't have that awful edge I'm more concerned why this isn't sticking there we go yeah that is right i think it just looks odd until the box is made up so yet again ribbon you kind of want to make sure your handles are the right same length I'm actually making this look more awkward than it is. I think about there, yeah. Oh. Yeah, normally I would use my dressmaking scissors and my other scissors, but these are a bit better. Our paper snips are purely meant to be for paper, really. Or if you, I would advise if you do buy them for fabric, just keep one pair for ribbon cutting, and you should be fine. But they generally aren't good if you use them for both. Is 
that. But yeah, as I said, I wouldn't leave those normally. Right, I'm leaving them because uh, well, I don't think it's going to make any difference, quite honestly. I'm going to stick it. I'll soon find out. Do it over time, not too bad. You're very quiet. I assume you're watching. Goodness me, I've got no nails. Doesn't know how I should just use my tool, really. So let's squidge that down. That's being a bit of a menace there as it's get that down there. And then we're going to run a bead of tape down here. Which is probably easy to do it that way. Yeah again, if you've got a tape runner, you could use that. You could use red tape, which is very good for boxes. You could just use your double sided or, or glue, whichever you choose, really. Concentrating. You're concentrating, Wanda. I think I should be concentrating. <laughs> uh, so I don't make boxes very much on them. Um, well, I make them more than I used to on my Facebook Lives. But I'm more in my comfort zone, I suppose, with my card making. Oh, sorry, I missed it. I noticed it's Tag Buffet 2 was a. Oh, okay. If you missed one, you probably yeah want to go back and watch that as well, then, Julie, because there was some even yeah more ideas in there as well. So I'm just going to bring that up to meet the. Just trying to show you different things rather than just gift tags. I mean, it's lovely as gift tags, but I don't think you need probably thirty gift tags. It's just nice to be able to make different things with it. Yeah, that did work doing that first. I don't know why. Never oh, mind. Don't worry about it. So that's. It's done anyway, so just got to do the bottom now, and then I can sort the sort that out. I'm just wondering whether this needs mitering. I don't think so because I want to keep my box nice and square. Right, that's the front. So you want the preferably. I'm a bit. I like the fold at the front, not not the crease or not the line, if you know what I mean. But because this is, we know this is our front because the tags on the front. Keep your fold there at the front. Does that make sense? So in like that. You could might a little bit off if you wanted to, but I think you can get away with it. So what did I say? In with that. If you might are too much, I say you wouldn't have nice square edges here. So sometimes you don't need to might at the bottom. That's why I would always say, don't do it until you have to, then you won't, then you can't go wrong, really. So, yep, yeah, perfect. Well, almost. Give it a good rub inside. And we're there. Well, that didn't take that long to make, even with all the fiddling about that I did. Yeah, I think it's this ribbon's a little bit on the thin side, if I'm honest. I probably would be better with the thicker. That would hang better, I think. For some reason, or maybe. Yeah, maybe it would have been better if I'd have threaded it through that way. I don't know. Not quite sure. I have to have a think about that. It's not quite, not quite right, but not bad. But it could be the ribbon. But anyway, it's done. So, there's that. 
put that one to one side. And there we've just got, I can't believe I've done all this in under an hour so far, and these shouldn't take long. So five makes in not, not much over an hour, so that's not too bad, is it? Right, let's get our kits. No. These are our lovely little square acetate boxes, and I have to admit, I've never bought these before, but I, th I, I had to make an order up, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to treat myself to some of these. And I believe they're something like £5.50. Let me just check. Yeah, they're on this page, page 152 of the main catalogue, where all the acetate boxes are. These ones are really good. I've used them quite a lot, and these little square ones. But, yeah, they, they, oh, they're new this year. That's probably why I haven't used them then. So acetate card boxes, they're three and three and one-eighth of an inch. So ideal if you do three-inch squared cards, if you like those. Uh, but, yeah, you get ten in a box for £5.50. So... I think that's really quite good to make a little treat box with. So I did one with some gold coins with a wrap round. And then, would you believe, Yankee Candle Night Light, four of those fit absolutely perfectly. So I was really pleased about that. I do like the night lights. And, yeah, they're Olive and Thyme, those ones. And I've, they're the ones I've got to do tonight, a cranberry and pear, which are very nice. Smell very Christmassy. So that's what we're doing now, just to finish off. What's right? That's lovely. You're saying that's lovely. I don't know. Is that was that to the bag or to the thing? I don't know. Probably to the bag. I don't know. But I'm not wholly happy with the bag. But you know what I like? Never satisfied. I think yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the ribbon. That's what I'm blaming. It could be the operator. It could be me. I cannot lie. Right, so yeah, this is how they come, all, all flat packed. So I've made them up already. Do you, um, you don't need to, I'm sure you you just squidge the edges, you just burnish it and squidge it out. They're not difficult to do. Uh, I didn't cut, I think I left it to show you actually. Right, I think it's three inches across, well, three and an eighth it says. So yeah, if we do three inches, I'm just going to do three inch square. So using one of the gift tags, that's what I'm using. Cut it at three inches. And then you've got a little piece that can go in your box to you use for other things. Don't waste anything, although maybe you can waste a little sliver like that. But you can keep it if you want. That is that. So obviously because the wrap one I didn't bother putting a backing board in because you can't really see it. But this one I did. I put a little bit of the one of the tags in the back. So let's do that one first. Bags, I missed the first bit. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you you like it, ladies, that's good. So that's the front. So that's the back. I didn't glue it in. I don't think this. You could put. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Because once you put your night lights, your candles in, it holds it in place. So we'll put, I've had these a while. I tend to buy them in job lots from different places so I get them cheaper. And I just have a box of them for when I'm doing gift making. Oh, they're stuck. Oh, they do smell. So Christmassy. Mm. Very nice. like that pop them in close the box I think we'll do should we do that no I think I'll keep it like that we'll keep the wrap for the chockies I have changed I'm going to just do the bauble on top instead of the Christmas tree but now I need the ribbon so this is why I needed the ribbon I'm just going to work out how to do it uh, that way Ha ha ha, have I put it? Silly me. Who spotted that? Who spotted that I put it in the wrong way round? Good job I didn't glue it in, isn't it? There you go, it's sorted. Obviously, if you didn't have that, you could do these and just use DSP or cardstock and decorate it. So 
put it that way. Put it that way. I've got to work out which corner it's in. It is in this corner, isn't it? So, because obviously, if if I'm using a tree, yeah, I'm going with a tree. You want it in this corner, so where the tree, yeah, you want it right up there, basically. I think that will be about right. I'm going to cut that. I have actually got quite a lot of ribbon left, so I just never can gauge it. Here we go, Susan. Bow time. Time bows. This is where another person comes in very handy, but I'm going to try and do it myself. I think the bow is going to end up upside down, actually, if I do it that way. Ah, let's do it that way. That's better. I usually do bunny ears, but let's try it. I have left the ribbon quite short. I can manipulate that in a minute when I've got the tray on. So yeah, again, you can ink round your tree just to make it stand out a little bit. But yeah, you can see you could create some really quite quick and easy gifts. The hardest thing, I think, is the bow. Pop that up on some dimensionals. Trying to be frugal with my dimensionals, but <laughs> it never works. You do need plenty on for it to be stable. But yeah, hopefully you can see with the colouring in how it does help a little bit just to know which ones you've taken off. Little bit of a tip there from this morning's video. Just gonna chuck them on the floor because I'm naughty. Now shove that on there. Go with the top of the bow. And then the sentiment. So we'll have Merry Christmas again. And because we've got red candles, we'll have the red sentiment. Lovely. Do tis the season if I had it yeah, on that as well because then that's oh no I'll... Mm. I think I was changing it for yeah right that one's going on the bauble that's right that one's going now I'm getting confused now yeah that's the bauble that one on the tree hmm not sure. Covers a lot of it, doesn't it? Oh well. Let's just do it. I do like to sometimes just change things just to give you different ideas. Pop that up on some dimensionals.
definitely the way upstairs. She's coming down. Oh, I could have edged this as well, but I haven't, so here she comes. You all right? And the final one. So yeah, that's that done with your bow. So it's quite simple. The last one is same principle really, just with a wrap and some chocolate, chocolates, 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 coins. I'm sure there's other things that you could fit in here. I'll have to have a think what, but so four. I think I squished four. Was it four? Excuse me. Oh. So. I guess she could do that, but then oh, I might be able to get. Well, I'd need another pack for that. So you could get more than four if you want to fill it, depending on where you get your gold coins from. Yeah, that would actually work. Right. Bear with. I'm just going to quickly grab some more chocolate coins if I can find some. Yay, here we go. So rather than fill it with... Obviously that one I filled with some just paper, shredded paper. Ah, this was the problem. These are a different size coin. Isn't that strange? I think I bought them from the same place as well, you know. No, I didn't. That's why. Okay. Right. So, depending on the size of your coins, I think these are too big to get. That's what happened. Right. So, three of those. I thought that was strange. A little bit of... Whatever you've got, just pattern wise. This is, no, this is a bit unruly. And we'll put some big ones in there. So three. That's going to annoy me. I'm just going to cut that off. So yeah, depending on the size of your chocolates. But I'm sure you can think of other things to put inside them. This is difficult to work with sometimes, right, that will do. We don't actually sell this anymore, we did, did I think it was last year we did some shredded paper. Pretty sure we haven't got it this year. The bottom's coming out. Right, I think you get the general idea, but spend a little bit more time Making sure that's tidy. That wants to pop out. Right, that's it. So now we just do our wrap. This is nine inches by two and three quarters, I believe. Yeah. So easy as you just want to. You want your seam on the back, obviously. Little bit of tape or glue, but I think I'll use tape. Sorry, I'm off camera. Let's forget that. Oh, get off. 
see. So actually, I just want to spend a little bit more time. Just you can sc score this if you want to, but because it's DSP, you can just give it a good old crease, and you can get away with it without having to score and being accurate with your score and just cuts down time a little bit and you just want to make sure you line it up when you attach it so hold that nice and firmly and on there all depends how tight you want it you may want to have your uh, sleeve so it can come off I think this one was quite loose hence why I put this the braid on but this, yes it's a bit tighter so if you do it looser then you'll be able to remove it a lot easier and get it back in but I haven't done that this time yeah but this is the gold braid that you get in with the tags by the way because obviously you haven't been making tags with it I'm using it for decoration so there, there. went quite nice with the present idea of putting the present parcels on the front and making this look like a, a parcel dot bow thing it's not very tight this is where with this you could do with another pair of hands definitely thank you Wanda I say they're quite quick and easy to make once you master the art of bow tying or tying bows should I say you can make them quite quickly but yeah I shall have to have a think of what else I can put in them oh yeah I didn't haven't used the present I thought I would use the bauble which I'm not sure is going to fit let's move that at the top a little bit or maybe at the bottom where it's a little bit oh that's an idea I might have forgotten that I changed it to it's kind of works just a little bit but you get the idea whatever you picture you're using on the front yeah that'll do let's go around no one more Yeah, sometimes, especially at Christmas time, I think it's nice just to have some little gifts made up. Because you never know if you're going to see a child, or you know, these chocolate coins would be ideal for little, for a child to give, and if you, you know, little Christmas tree presents. I don't know, I love little tip, uh, gifts on the tree. As a, you know, just if you, especially if you don't buy, if there's a child you don't buy, actually buy for, but you want to give them a little something, you know, and you pull it off the tree, they think it's special. If it's wrapped lovely and gifted nicely like this, you know, it's just makes it that little bit more special rather than just giving them a bag of coins. But it hasn't actually cost the air. Very handy for teachers' gifts as well, especially with the candles in, I think. And I know they get a lot of candles, but I'm sure most teachers appreciate those. But that can get quite expensive in itself. I'm doing lots of teachers' gifts, so you need some cheaper ideas sometimes. And I think it's packaged nicely. It can make all the difference. Nearly there. Kind of messed that one up with the bow, but that's that's going to hang over the edge. I'm just going to be naughty and bend that over a little bit, but 
Well, I changed the thingy because I felt it really needed a, ba a banner right across the top. Preferably a curvy one would have been nice, but... I can't believe I've used nearly a whole sheet of dimensionals on this. Well, I can believe it. But hey -o. Put that on my order list as well. I'm getting through those. That's what they're there for, though, to be used. There we go. Now I could sponge that again, but I haven't. So let's pop that across the middle. And that's done. Could have just glued it if not. So that's just about it, I think. Five projects. Let's just count one, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Let's get a card that I actually made. Excuse me, right, there we go. So, yeah, five projects in an hour and 20 minutes. Not too bad. Just to try and tell, show and tell you basically that, yeah, you could make some quite quick gifts, quick and easy. So let's just flip that. There we go. Right, there we go. Oh, I look, yeah, the lighting's not very good in here. I look a bit red. Well, I am actually, yeah, a little bit hot. Right, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not going to cry any promises, I will be back in my new room upstairs. <laughs> fingers crossed. So, yeah, my furniture comes Friday. Oh, I am busy Saturday morning, so, but yeah, depending on how quickly we get it all erected and in place and sorted out, if not next Tuesday, hopefully the Tuesday after, definitely. So, I can't wait to get back in there. Well, that's been lovely. It is lovely being down here because everything's at hand. I still just feel better being up there. Isn't that strange? But it is what it is. Right. Uh, Hi, so could you use another table and put some after? Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't know if after eights, yeah, I guess after eights might fit. I don't know if you'd get an after eight in each corner. I think they'd be a little bit big, but you could, uh, yeah, you'd definitely pad it out, maybe put your after eights in. That's worth a try, Carol. But yeah, I'm sure there's lots of things you could you could put in them. They they are a they are a reasonable size. They definitely are. Well, you can see I've put big coins in them, and well, you, and you can just gauge by how many four night lights fit. So, thank you, ladies. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some ideas, some quick gift ideas. Anyway, you know, but don't break the bank either. And I, we do have to think about that, especially at this time of year, or especially now this year, because I think it's tough for a lot of people. So, um, yeah, just quick gift ideas. I just think pack if, if things are packaged nicely, it just, you know, people don't, it, it's the thought, isn't it? I think so. You know, you don't have to give monetary value, loads of high high value. Some things, I know I am, I'm, I'm terrible for gift packaging. If it's gift pack, it's gift wrap, look lovely. I, I just love the packaging. I don't care what's inside. I go for the packaging. Where's Daisy? Uh, in with Simon, Wanda. I believe. Yeah, she's not very well at all. He was meant to have rung the vets today. He didn't. I've got to remind him tomorrow. She's she, she's been she's definitely got to go. She's not getting any better. But thank you. But um yeah, she's she's all right. I think she's in with him. So um yeah, gift packaging. I love it. Nice gift packaging. I'm I'm a sucker for it. I always have been, always will be. But hey ho, there you go. Anyway, thank you for joining me and I will see you next week. I've no idea what I'm doing. It'll probably be Christmas stuff. Oh no, um I might do Halloween. I know not many people do Halloween, and I don't think not many people are doing trick or treating uh, this year either. But I have got something in mind that I might do because then it, it doesn't have to be Halloween. You could change it for something else. So I may well do that. So we will see. But thank you all for joining me. I've enjoyed it, and I've loved. Thank you for yeah. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye. <laughs>